Alright, so this video is honestly going to sadden me quite a lot to make because this is almost like my childhood being taken away from me, even though they haven't made songs in a billion years and they've been gone as nearly as long as my dad. It still honestly saddens me to talk about the death of one of my favorite all-time bands, Fun. But honestly, I thought I'd just make this video to kind of talk to you guys about, well, what actually really happened to pretty much 2012's greatest and biggest band of that year. Where did they go? Why did they release an album and then disappear exactly like my dad? Jesus Christ, that's the second dad joke I've made this video. Fuck, we're off to a good start. Anyway, for those of you who basically don't know what fun is before we, you know, talk about where they went, where they disappeared off to, I just wanted to say that basically fun is a band that was kind of created in, you know, kind of the mid-2000s to late-2000s by, uh, you know, three band members, one of which being named Nate Roos, who, if you have a pretty hardcore lisp, is going to be the most fucking impossible name ever to pronounce. And then you got the two other guys who were, were kind of like the, you know, just kind of some of the instrument plays, some of the, you know, lyricists of the band, too, in Jack Antonov and Andrew Doss. Again, this band was didn't exactly really do much in, you know, the 2000s, but it kind of came to an era where in 2011, where the type of music that they were making, kind of like the indie type of rock style that they were doing, really was kind of popping off out of nowhere, and so many bands were, you know, kind of starting to get into this, and I think Fun were really one of the pioneers of this genre being so popular in the early 2000s, where again in 2011 they actually released a song called We Are Young who is one of the biggest cult classic songs of all time. I think one of the greatest songs of the 2010s. Again, you legitimately can't go on TikTok without seeing this song. Like, I've seen a bunch of grown-ass men sit on the ground and slap each other on the ass to the beat to this song. That's how influential this song has become pretty much every single place and every single app. Again, after We Are Young came out in 2011, they really hit mainstream success and just released a ton of music, including a single called Some Nights, which just, again, absolutely exploded as well. And when that song came out, you legitimately couldn't go on the radio without hearing either We Are Young or Some Nights. Then they released their next single, which was called Carry On which I think was a lot less popular than their first two, but in Australia, still remained popular. Uh, in fact, I was actually looking through my old CDs the other day, and I was just, you know, blowing the dust off them, and I found one of those summer hit CDs, and this song was on there, and it just gave me Vietnam flashbacks of the 2010s on how good the music was. So again, they pretty much released these three singles, decided to release the whole entire album called Some Nights, which did pretty well. There was also a song on there which did well too, I believe called Why Am I The One or something like that. That song did pretty good. Not too sure how much it was played on the radio. I probably heard it once every now and then, but you know, that song was kind of there. Then they, you know, they performed on a bunch of TV shows, doing a bunch of stuff. Took a little bit of a break, I believe released a single in 2014, um, which I think did okay as well, and then they really haven't been heard of since. The whole entire band pretty much just disappeared. Again, Nate Roos decided to say, fuck it, I'm gonna go on by myself, and he actually released a song with Eminem called Headlights, which I believe is one of the greatest songs of all time, I think one of Eminem's best songs of all time, if not his best. The lyrics in that song just make any grown man moan. <laughs> it's just really, really good. And then he also, in 2012, released a song called uh, Pink, called Just Give Me a Reason, which I believe hit number one as well. And that was like his third song, which made the top five. I think We Are Young hit number one. Um, Give Me a Reason hit number one, I think. And then Some Nights hit like two or three 
he pretty much released all three of those songs within a year. Like, I feel like people just forget how big Nate Roos was. He was just absolutely dominating the world. Like, I really can't remember that many singers out there that have had three top five songs. Like, I'm sure Ed Sheeran's done it, Justin Bieber, of course. Um, Drake has probably done it as well. Really, other than those three, not a whole lot of people are coming up to my mind. Um, Post Malone obviously probably did it. And then Nate Roos, and Nate Roos is kind of like the forgettable one, which not many people remember as being a guy who actually accomplished something like that. And then again, went solo, he made his own album, um, which he released in 2015, which did pretty average. I mean, Nothing Without Love, or whatever it's called, I believe it's called that, was a very awesome song. It just it didn't do as well as it I think it had 50 million streams and did okay in Australia, but I don't think it's really good anywhere else again. America maybe as well. But then, it just, it's just kind of difficult because the album really felt like that he tried to do exactly what he was doing with fun, but again, he didn't have his, you know, his homies there to back him up. And Again, the other members of Fun were known for, I think, being a little bit better lyrically when it came to writing than what Nate Roos was at times. So, I think Nate Roos, he really lost some of the lyrical power that he had in Fun, and it just didn't carry over to the album. And then again, after 2015, we really haven't seen these guys. They released one of the biggest, if not the biggest album of 2012, and then just, like, disappeared like the Malaysian flight of 370 or whatever, we haven't seen these guys ever. Fuck, that was a dark joke. All right, that might have been the darkest joke I've made on this channel. Please don't cancel me. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a pretty difficult thing because this band was really one of the highest ever bands I have seen in the last 10 years. Like, and especially Nate Roos, he had three top five singles within a year. Like, how many singers have realistically done that in the last 10 years? Probably, like, five. And that's legitimately it. That's how dominant this guy was at his peak. And he really dominated 2012, dominated the end of 2011, and I think dominated early 2013. And we haven't seen these guys since. In fact, I checked out what Nate Roos was doing, and he actually has a podcast talking about the show Lethal Weapon, which, might I add, is a very fucking fantastic show. But that show ended like four years ago and he's just made a podcast about it now. Yeah. I don't know what's completely up with that. It's it's a little bit of an odd choice. But pretty much why fun actually ended up ending was because Nate Roos pretty much did what a lot of band members do and think they can, you know, kind of leave the group and be better on their, you know, by themselves. And was Nate Roos better by himself? when it came to 2013, probably. You know, Just Give Me A Reason and Headlights, which he did as a featured artist, were incredible songs. But then when it came to 2015, you could tell his album just really lacked and it felt like he was missing his, you know, homies that were on the fun band. And then after that, he really hasn't made exactly too much music. Again, if you're wondering where he is, he's kind of just chilling. I still think he writes songs every now and then. I believe he was actually featured on his first song within like four years. And I would imagine a lot of people are still wanting to have this guy on his music. It just doesn't seem like he really is 100% keen on making music all the time anymore. And it doesn't hasn't really seemed that way since like 2015 when he made that album. Again, he was actually featured on the Young Thug album, which might have, oh, was really, really good. And then he did a performance on like Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. And then the man disappeared again. Like, we haven't heard of him since that, and that was 2021, and that was the first time we'd heard of him in, like, four years then. So, yeah, it just seems crazy. I don't really think he's too passionate on music a whole lot since, like, 2015. And, again, the real reason why fun kind of ended was because he really thought he could go off by himself. And, look, he somewhat did it. I don't think he necessarily failed because um, of not having the fun members to do lyrics or anything like that. I just don't think he was as motivated anymore. Again, he hasn't released a whole lot of music since that album. And some might say that that album could have been a building block for him to release an even better one. We really don't know. 
and we'll never know pretty much because I don't know if we'll see Nate Roos continue with a whole lot of music any you know time soon. I really hope he does. I think it'd be awesome for another rapper or you know someone like Young Thug to feature him on their album. But I guess it's up to Nate Roos whether he wants to ultimately do that in the end. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for latest music content and music news. Of course, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think about the album Fun? Um, do you guys think they'll ever make a comeback? Do you guys think Nate Roos is pretty much done with music? Or could that, you know, Young Thug song pretty much, you know, rekindle his love for it and maybe we'll see some more music soon? Of course, I would definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Of course, don't forget, you know, to subscribe to my sports channel, my IRL slash long channel, my gaming channel, all of them, which I'll all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.